Hello then, so welcome to some Crusader King's Street. Today we're going to be starting a campaign with the goal of forming the Kingdom of Ireland. We're starting here in Ilek with the Dynasty of the Red Right Hand. Now the reason I've chosen this area here is because my family from Ireland is actually living here. Or my grandfather used to live here, he since moved to England when he was a wee boy of about 14. He's now in his 80s, so a very long time ago, but my family's still very connected to this area over here and visits relatively often. Now, if you want to see how strong your characters are before you start, simply right-click on the region they're in. You right-click anywhere to see the strength. Now, the strength on this place, uh, in most places actually, is randomly generated, so what you can do is cheese the game by keep reloading in and out until whichever one you want is the strongest of the region. I, however, will not be doing that. Be loading straight in is Ed, who is a Craven, Lazy, Gregarious, and a Thrifty Cluck. Not a very good man to have in charge of your dynasty, especially not when he is the only living member. So let's load straight into it with Iron Man mode and see what we can get up to. Now one of the first things I like to do once loading in is make sure I have the best knights possible. Now these guys aren't terribly great. So what I'll do is I'll go to a find character, search by female and unmarried. You'll then click on everyone in your course. You'll go find a spouse, metrolinely, so they go ahead and join your court and search by prowess. Make sure not to click somebody who is already in your court. This man here is much better than my current knights. We'll go ahead and invite him in. And then we'll simply press backwards to get to the other lady and do the exact same with her. Make sure not to press somebody where it says they are your knight already. This bishop here looks like a very good man for the job, but I'm not sure with that apostolic. There's a lot of uh, fancy religions going on here. This man, however, is actually Irish and... So we're going to go ahead and take him. She'll get some prestige out of it, so good for her. We start unmarried, and we do not have a dynasty. So we want somebody who's going to give us both an alliance, which Gwened would, and some fertility. Now, out of the Gwened daughters, there is deceitful, forgiving, cynical, lazy, gregarious, wrathful, and zealots, vengeful, and calm. So we're going to go ahead and choose the person with the best stewardship. And that's going to be Dennis down here. Hopefully that will go through well. I won't gain any prestige, but she will. So... Good for her. We're also going to choose a lifestyle focus. And I care more for money at the moment. We're going to go for a wealth focus. And oh, we've already got all this figured out. They're very good. And we want to get our cancel here. This man to go and fabricate claims. Ulster looks like a fine place to move on to. Secure the entire northern coast. And I'm sure we'll be having a much better time. Excellent. My 18 year old Welsh wife is already pregnant. I have started trying to seduce her. So hopefully that helps us in future, but we just simply want to concentrate on getting one air for now. Not every gift has to be as grand. A grand statement of wealth. Smaller things can make a far greater impression, as long as they are chosen well. I wonder what Dennis would appreciate. Well, she's very learned, so how about something to do with... Well, none of these really go through with that. Uh, a flower display, I don't think she's going to be too interested in, but we'll try that anyway. And it was wrong, of course. We have a son and heir. We are going to call him Donegal, after the area in Ireland where my family is from. Very good. You might think, I don't sound Irish. I am not Irish. I was actually born in England and currently live in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, over in Canada. I was born right around this region here. There's meant to be a uh, a bit of a area here of water between Wareham and Paul, but uh, it's not actually in the game. That's where I'm from. But you don't care about that, so let's continue with this. I'm attending the dance, not simply because I am the Lord of the Castle, but because I want to see Countess Dennis there. She looks resplendent, and when we finally have a moment to ourselves, I offer my suggestion. A walk in the garden. Well, we already know she doesn't do gardens. We tried to gift her some flowers for a garden before. Or we could try and appeal to her greedy side. She is not greedy. I don't really want to gain some stress. So let's go ahead and try and provide her with more food. And, well, what an evening we had. We now have the option to try and mint some new coinage. We could... Uh, try and facilitate, facilitate trade. We could try and mid them simply for my own prestige, or we can try and get both money out of this, but it's not terribly... Uh, it's 57, 50, 43. We might lose some prestige, but I'm going to go through with it anyway and see exactly how it goes, and it goes well. We'll surely be able to afford our claim on Ulster soon enough. My beloved wife, the servants have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with roses. As Countess Dennis enters our chambers, she smiles and joins me without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God. 
perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Well, how about that? We are becoming lovers with our wife. We now have the ability to get an unpressed claim on the Earldom of Ulster. We're going to go ahead and do just that. Pause the game and declare war on this man. Nobody's going to come to his aid. We do have more men than him, so it should be relatively straightforward. We're going to move this army rally point over to here and call up everybody. We should have enough knights to deal with them. And I can't see them being much of a threat at all. Far from home, you say? Some uh, people wish to join us. Well, you're not terribly useful for fighting. Your son might be eventually, though. So uh, embrace God and I will give you a home. Hopefully soon this man will die on the front lines for us. Basil has commenced in Dunpadraig. There were no men at arms involved, but we have superior numbers here. So we should be able to absolutely destroy their forces without any real effort at all. And so we shall, leaving us enough men to commence with the siege, which will take six months. We have a... Oh, we can call him an ally. Well, we're not going to be doing that. Battle went very well. We killed 60... We, we lost 69 while killing 76. A seven-man swing. Looks like their knights did slightly better, though. So uh, let's see exactly what's going on here. Anton is the man. Somebody who we actually invited over. Can we demand his conversion? No. It's good to see somebody that I invited doing a great bit of work there. You sure you don't want to join my course? No, he doesn't. Well, we'll go and dismiss that and come back when the siege is won. The siege is once we're going to go ahead and enforce the demands now becoming a double lord with Ulster added to our realm. So hopefully soon we'll have the claim on Oriel because we can of course beat them as well. They're all part of the same dynasty as ours. We are part of a dynasty which has 23 houses actually. Quite a lot of them I think. This will go back all the way to the first king of Ireland perhaps. There's no current level me living members of this house but I'm sure they, uh, they are what I say they are. Another son is born and another war is declared. We'll not be naming him Donegal. We already have a son named Donegal, but we'll name him... Uh, we'll name him... Uh, hmm, I'm not even sure. Let's name him something. Let's see if there's any good, decent names here. We'll show up after an ancestor Irish name. Let's see if there's anything here I like the sound of. I'm quite new to this language. Um... Let's go with Dungal. <laughs> of course, that's what I was looking for. Excellent. So we're about to have a battle here, and it should go very smoothly. And so it did. Oh, this man got wounded, but that's not terribly much to worry about. We're starting to kill more people. Oh, yes, we actually lost somebody. No, he did. No, we did. We lost the knight. It's just the man. Oh, no, this guy here. Well, shame. Well, too bad. Another county down, and we're a quarter of the way fabricating on the next one there. Hopefully it'll keep going smoothly as it is. I have become the head of Irish culture, and with this I'll be going towards hereditary rule. I think. I think that's what I want. Is it hereditary rule? Let's have a look at succession and see what we can change. Primogeniture, we would need... Oh, this is so totally different innovation. You're not. Hereditary. Heraldry, nope, that's completely different. In that case, I don't think I care what I go for. Or just uh, maybe communal governments. Roll, uh, yeah, let's go with some more crown laws then if we want to do something. Excellent, another claim, another war, let's go ahead and declare it. They have more troops, but with our new found lands now, it's not going to be any issue for us. We're going to raise our troops, all of them, and go straight after his capital, destroying his force, and commencing a siege. Perfect. We have just become the dynasty head, which means now we can pretty much just claim titles on everywhere in Ireland. We won't have been doing that just yet, because we want to get up to a thousand renown, so that we can push through a legacy, and the legacy we want will be noble veins. We're nearly done with an extra claim here, and once we've taken this land, we'll be saving up to create a duchy. So that's our land's not all split up on my death. We are purposefully taking land down here and not there or there. So we don't have formable duchies during a succession. We want to simply have all of the land stay until we do have a kingdom tier title. We've had a daughter. We'll be naming her Aini. That's a name I can relatively well pronounce. Although I'm still sure I got it wrong. I'm going to be either forming the duchy or taking the claim. Whichever one comes first. I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like it might actually be this. What was this? In the name of the Divine? Well, keep him cynical. 
We are now the Duke of the Red Right Hand. Hopefully we'll be able to get the money for this claim relatively soon. He is, however, allied, but I'm sure we'll be able to take them both on together, no problem at all. We're now able to choose a Dynasty Legacy, we're going with Noble Veins. Hopefully we'll get some good Mega Bloodlines coming through here, giving us some uh, congenital traits. Very good. We are also in debt because we did get the duchy and not claim. We have the claim. That's why we're in debt. But once we're out of debt, we'll be going for the extra bit of land here. It is time to find a future marriage for my dishonorable atheist son here. I've chosen her Lave Fitzwalter. She is a Norman who is known to be beautiful. She is diligent and compassionate. And uh, it does come with a little alliance. These guys are pretty useless, but not to matter. We'll uh, lose a little bit of prestige with it, but hopefully in taking this trace here will help our bloodline significantly. Unfortunately my enemies have all allied with each other so I'm going to try and gain some more strength. The, reason, the way I'm doing this is I'm going to try and get an alliance here with the Monty Gao family. Now the reason I'm choosing them over the more powerful Northumbria here is because they are a duchy they will cost more prestige to call in. So we're just going to simply go with these French over here and hope that they will be able to aid us when we do go to war. Let's have a look, shall we? So we're going to have to take on all three of these guys at once. Let's go ahead and declare the war for our claims. And let's go ahead and call our allies to war. There is Monty Gal. We'll go ahead and do that. And we can also call in our dynasty members. There's five, Kanor and Moray. We could actually call in Kanor. No, we couldn't. Moray we could and Fife we could. Well, Fife is pretty strong. Moray... It was stronger. Well, because only five dynasty renowns. So we'll go ahead and avoid it for now. Hopefully it won't need them. We have engaged in our first battle. Hopefully we'll be able to lower the numbers enough so that they can't all rally together and give us more stress later on. We have got a few more retinues now. Uh, we gained 200 archers so hopefully they'll be enough to give us some grand victories on the battlefield here. Excellent. We did win but we didn't kill off too many of their forces. We killed 200 while losing 100 ourselves. Our friends have arrived though so hopefully they'll be able to come over and help us here. The enemies are going to be going towards my capital, so let's hope that I can start the siege here first. This will take six months, mine will take eight months. We could try this tactic. Seven months versus seven months. I'm not entirely sure three months. Yeah, I think we'll take this tactic here. And the money, of course, because we need more men first. I have been replaced as Dynasty Head, and war has been declared on me. The Lord of Lothian here, the Dunbar... As long, alongside his friends, Dunkels have declared war. So we're going to go ahead and call our allies into war. That'll be Montegal, and hopefully some others later on because we uh, could use them. But first, let's go ahead and end this war. We have victory here, so we will go ahead and take that land. But now we need to try and get all of our forces together to fight these Scots who are trying to invade us. Let's see if we can get some more relatively useful allies as well. We sought you by alliance power. We could get... Albi, you look very far away. You are Ockertons. I don't know, not actually that far. Alright, there's you, who's a little bit more north. There's you, Oldenburg. Are you not quite coastal? What is these much weaker families? So let's go with these guys. They aren't that far away, really. We'll go ahead and choose that match there. It won't be of our dynasty, although we could make it of our dynasty. And hopefully they'll be able to come in and save us. Not save us, but help us. Oh, I like the idea of the money. And I got the money. Thank you very much. Now let's call you into war as well. It'll be free because we are, of course, defensive at the moment. We are about to engage in a big battle here. We do have all of our friends in tow. Hopefully they don't arrive too late. They are going to arrive behind me by a few days, but not enough for it to really end the war here negatively. There's more enemies, however, coming. It looks like some mercenary band has been hired. The Gaelic Band of Lennox. Hopefully they don't sway the battle in favour of our enemies. We have more knights and superior qualities. Hopefully we are able to uh, destroy them before any other people do get involved. No, this was not the case. We still have superior quality and the same amount of knights. So I can definitely see this going in our favour. Oh, it's getting very close. In fact, it seems to be going in their favour here quite well. Well, let's see if we can try and uh, bring some more folks in ourselves. We could go ahead and hire some mercenaries. There's not that many available. I can't exactly afford them too well. But we don't want to lose this land. And this is incredibly close. So we are going to go ahead and hire these guys. They actually come with a military engineer. 
Oh, that's all well and good. Unfortunately, it's not even cheaper. You're a little bit cheaper. In fact, yeah, we don't uh, we don't need the quality here. We need the numbers. So these guys will take 11 days to join the battle. The battle should last that long. And we'll see them uh, sway it in our favour in two days' time. Excellent. We will not be losing this battle. No, we won't. Shame about the money, though. But it shouldn't take too long to get back. Excellent. We have had a victory there. We can't go for a white piece, so let's try and gain the money instead. Their capital is this over here. If I try to siege it, we will lose a lot of men. Let's just start with some sieges on the outskirts of the realm instead. We have had another sun. The last war actually ended invalidated, so we weren't able to get all that lovely money there. We're naming him something interlock because I find these names much more easy to pronounce. We'll go with Eustance. What a wise name. Now I'm thinking of, when we're out of debt, using our renown here to claim on Conor, because I would like to save up the 500 gold to go ahead and create the kingdom now to get the 500 gold. It's going to take a long time, and if I have to spend 250 on another title, that will hold me back a lot. So if we just simply use the renown to take it instead, that will help us out. My son is of age, and he wants to be a knight. I don't really want him to be a knight. Although my other sons might be better. He's cynical, fickle, and gregarious. Not terribly great traits. We'll see how well these guys do. We have gone ahead with the plan and claimed his title. We are now defeating his allies, the Petty King of Munster. And we'll siege his capital out with relative ease. There won't be any trouble here at all. Well, in fact, we've already taken one of his guys prison. Can we get some money for him? I could get 56 gold. I'd rather do that now while he has the money than later when he's not going to have any shekels at all. We'll still get 100% simply through the siege, so I'm not worried about losing that little bit of war score there. My wife is pregnant again! Oh, isn't that just great? Well, yes, we hold more land here again. Terrific. See you guys uh, soon. One way to try and get more money is through ransoms. Now, we are going to try and ransom these seven people, and hopefully there's some ducats among them. A few hundred. Well, that's all well and good so far. Oh, there you go. Another bit of money there. Excellent, we actually had enough money all along. Well, with this money, we're going to go ahead and crown ourselves as the kings of... I, wait, no, we're not. We only have seven out of the six, these years. Okay, well, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I don't think I can uh, claim your land, but what we can do is start to fabricate on it. And then we'll be able to crown ourselves kings of Ireland. We should be able to live that long. Our house doing relatively fine. I have, however, become ill. We must send for a physician at once. We have the money to do so. And we'll be hiring the most qualified person we can. Oh, another son's been born. Well, let's go with an insular name. How about... Patrick. Yes, Patrick's relatively Irish, is not. Time for treatment. We can do no more than what is necessary. Oh, it's too late for caution. Let's go with... It's... Let's do no more than what is necessary. Excellent work. We uh, will have reduced symptoms for another year. And hopefully last long enough to get this claim and the war goal. We have taken Osori and we are now ready to crown ourselves as the kings of Ireland. Excellent. We are now a mighty king. And hopefully we can just uh, offer vassal some of these people. I would rather hope so. No, we have different faith. Oh, are we now? So let's uh, disband our army. Let's go forward a little bit here. And let's see what we can do. No, we can't vassalage them all at all, but we can seize these lands. And they are all, not you, but the rest are relatively weak. So we're going to go ahead and declare war on those guys right there. And then come back for you later. We're going to raise our army here. And we're going to go deal with this fall, hopefully before he gets away. Oh, he's actually raised more troops. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully he doesn't think he can beat us here. Seven months, well, hopefully it doesn't take that long. Excellent, we have taken their homeland, so all these men outside of my capital are ready to immediately surrender. Next off, this place down here should not be hard at all. We have the option here to adopt a special succession type. We're going to go and have a look at what the options are. The question of who shall succeed me after my death has plagued me ceaselessly of late. The threat of splitting the realm ever on my mind. Of course, while it's usually difficult to persuade the realm to accept new order of succession, it can be much easier to return to the old Tanistry elective. They'll all vote for somebody throughout my own area, but that's... I don't know if that only affects the top title or if it affects all titles. We'll go ahead and take it anyway. And we now get to vote on an heir. 
Oh, it looks like we can vote between many different houses, so that's not too great. Vote strength, however, is a little bit more for me. So let's go ahead and vote for one of my sons. Whichever one has the most stewardship or diplomacy, it looks like you might be the best, and you are my oldest, so good for you. We'll cast a vote there, and hopefully he will be the man. We have another daughter, though. We'll call her Ewa. That's a perfectly fine name. As for this man here, we have tried to fabric a claim on the entire duchy and to sway him, neither of which is working, so we might just go ahead and declare one him one at a time. Unfortunately, though, he is quite well allied, so that's not going to happen just yet. Although, that will do for this episode. Thank you for watching. We've gone through a lot here. We have a lot of land, and hopefully everything will continue to be in our control. When we die, we'll take over this realm here, but my other sons will get a lot of my other counties. So hopefully that does not become an issue. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, you should subscribe. When you come back, we'll unify the rest of Ireland. See you guys then. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.